Have you ever looked at a baby and just been like, oh man, your baby looks uh, so beautiful, right? (laughs) Have you ever uh, been somewhere and you've asked somebody for a recipe and you were like, I want that recipe because I wanna make it for my in-laws for Easter, (laughs) right? This is for me. Uh, Periodically, I'll meet somebody who's a New England Patriots fan. And I'll say to them, um, I respect you. Um, (laughs) And that is not what I mean. Have you ever done this? Let me ask you this. Have you ever prayed a prayer? And your prayer went something like this, like, God, I know that you are so good. And I know that you care for me and you care for my family. And I know that you are right here with us. And even though it's hard, God, I just, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting that there's a plan here. Have you ever prayed a prayer like that? I'll tell you. If I went back and cataloged the advice that I've given to people over the last, I don't know, 10 or 15 years in ministry, I'd say one of the top five, probably top three things that I've recommended that people do is to just break through all of that flowery nonsense language and just get honest. Just forget what you think God wants to hear from you. Forget that you think you're gonna offend God. Forget any of those things and just get honest. You're really happy. You're grateful for something. You know, when you like wanna pray this flowery prayer about like, I don't know, like in all these words that you've heard pastors use and you don't really know what they mean, but like, you know, you're like making supplications and stuff and like, just say, God, thank you. Like, I'm really happy about this. Or you're really sad but you're scared to say that because you, you, you don't wanna sound ungrateful. So you talk about all the great things and maybe you like insert that a little bit at the end or you really feel guilty and you're pretty worried about admitting the guilt that you feel in front of God. You kinda of wanna bury that down or you're angry. I gotta tell you, friends, I have sat with so many families and individuals, sometimes in hospital rooms and sometimes at homes, that I just know that the prevailing emotion that they have in their life is anger, but they're afraid to express that. They wanna know why, and they wanna know how could this possibly happen, but they're afraid to express that to God. And I've sat with so many families and so many individuals that will either say this directly or say something like this. I feel like I'm praying and my prayers are just like getting pinged off of invisible ceiling. Like I just don't feel like anything is getting through. And then I pastorally, slowly, kindly walk them through to that realization of what you're praying you don't actually mean. And that's why it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. You're probably not gonna be able to pray a prayer of gratitude until you pray a prayer of anger. You're probably not gonna be able to establish that relationship with God where you feel good about it until you just let all of those emotions out. This isn't going anywhere until you just get honest. Friends, the bottom line for this whole series is simply this. No matter where you are in your spiritual walk, no matter where you are in your life in general, no matter where you are at all, a good next step for you is to just be honest. A good next step for you, no matter where you are, is to spend a few minutes in prayer where you just lay it out there. Don't worry about the language that you use. Don't worry about offending God. He can handle it. You just sit there and you're just honest. I'm happy about this. I'm scared about this. I'm angry about this. I feel guilty about this. Your next best step, no matter where you are, is to just be honest.